The American consumer remains the driver of the U.S. economy. How can we tell what consumers will do next? Joining us now is Dr. Roland Russ, Distinguished University Professor at the Robert H. Smith School of Business. Dr. Russ, thank you for being with us. My pleasure. You've been working on some new research uh, looking at consumer behavior and how to better forecast it. Uh, tell us about that. Well, what we're finding is that uh, customer satisfaction measures really do a lot to help uh, predict aggregate consumer spending. Uh, there's a lot in the uh, news about things like consumer confidence, but what we're finding is that uh, our approach that uses customer satisfaction measures also really helps a great deal in predicting uh, consumer spending changes in the aggregate in the economy. So tell me about the, the standard way of trying to forecast what, what the consumer is going to do. And we know the consumer is, I forget the exact number, roughly two-thirds of the U.S. economy maybe. So being able to look ahead is, is terribly important. How have economists and marketing people done that uh, uh, previously? Well, economists have been mostly involved with doing this, and what they've used as much as anything else is consumer confidence, along with some other control variables. But uh, consumer confidence is the thing that they've really used, and uh, they can explain about 15 percent of the change in consumer spending using consumer confidence and some related variables. And what we find is that by incorporating customer satisfaction, we can increase that percentage to about 35 percent of the change in consumer spending. So we're, we're more than doubling, really, the amount of uh, uh, change in consumer spending that we can explain. You know, I think of con uh, customer satisfaction as focusing on a specific product. I, I like my PC or I like my Mac, that sort of thing. Right. But uh, in this case, we're really using the aggregate measures that are developed by the American Customer Satisfaction Index, which one of my co-authors, Klaus Fornell, is the, the founder of. And uh, we're using that uh, index to uh, come up with predictions for the aggregate economy. So w what are the trends in, in terms of that index? How, how much does it move? Well, uh, surprisingly, it actually does move over time, and, and the news has, has largely been good over the last 10 years or so. The customer satisfaction measures have been improving some, and, um, and, and that's, that's actually good news for the, for the economy, and it's good news for consumers. So, so how can uh, economists and, and policymakers and investors make use of this information? Well, uh, what they can do is they can make more accurate predictions of what consumer spending is going to do. So um, if you know that consumer spending is going to go up, then you do things like you uh, hire people and you uh, create more uh, plant and equipment and, and you, you try to uh, prepare for that big demand. Uh, if you know that uh, the consumer spending is going to go down, you do exactly the opposite. You lay people off, you close plants, you do all sorts of things like that. So um, it really makes a difference to know which direction consumer spending is likely to be headed. So we know that the American consumer has had a tough couple of years. Um, the wealth effect, the negative wealth effect of, of real estate values falling, the volatility of the, the stock market, uh, the whole issue with credit availability as the credit markets froze and then uh, slowly thawed. So give me an outlook uh, over the next year or so. What do you see? Well. Um it, it looks um, not so great, uh, actually, because uh, the customer satisfaction uh, measures have sort of flattened out. And so for at least about the next quarter, we really wouldn't anticipate uh, uh, large changes in consumer spending. So um, the, the other variable that really plays a big role in this is uh, consumer debt, because the more debt uh, consumers have, uh, the less they have available to spend. And so uh, what we found is that uh, not only does uh, consumer debt uh, hurt spending, but it also uh, reduces the effect of uh, customer satisfaction changes. All right, Dr. Roland Russ joining us from the Robert H. Smith School of Business. Uh, Dr. Russ, thanks for your time. Well, thank you very much.